we go guys, I'm going to show you how to easily cut your own stencils. So what I have going on here, you'll see it at the end when I pull it up, is I have a piece of designer paper or scrapbook paper underneath a piece of glass and I put duct tape around all the sides of the glass so it wasn't sharp. Then I have a piece of transparency on top of the glass and I used washi tape with about a quarter of an inch on the acetate so that way it kept the acetate in place as well as um, gave me a border so that way I didn't cut all the way to the side so that way the stencil was a little sturdier. And what I'm using is a one of those walnut hollow heat tools. I saw this technique uh, it was done by Laura. She was the first person I saw do it, so I, I don't know who originated it, but she's the one who introduced it to me. And um, it's essentially just using a wood-burning tool. Uh, it has a very skinny tip. You can essentially cut straight through the acetate. Um, so it's really quick and easy. I've cut my own stencils before, and this is by far the easiest way I've ever done it because you hold the wood burner like a pencil and it just melts right through. So the nice thing is it doesn't have to be perfect. So sorry if this is a little bit long. I don't cut the whole thing on camera for you. I cut most of that out. So I just wanted to show you how how I went about doing it. I just traced around all of the, the edges. One thing is that I wouldn't suggest turning it around, like flipping it upside down because then it changes your perspective because there is a layer of glass so it might make make it a little bit wonky if you do that um, so I'm just peeling up the washi tape now and as you can see it left a border around the entire stencil and then I just used the washi tape just to pick up some of those stray pieces not all of them cut perfectly or rather burn perfectly so you can always take your uh, wood burning tool thing and it was like thirty dollars I think at at Michael's but I used a coupon so it was like fifteen bucks um, so you can use that to to touch up any areas that you may have missed so then you can see as I take everything off there was the piece of paper on the bottom the piece of glass which was a picture frame from a thrift store and then again just duct tape all around the edges just to keep the sharp edges away and I just wanted to show you how this looks so there's my design in yellow. I just used a piece of scrap paper. Then I'm going to off-center it so that it almost creates an argyle, and I use some blue through it. And I was using dilutions, just if you care. But that's how the design came out. So it's pretty cool. I This is one of my favorite stencils, so you will be seeing this stencil a lot in the future. I've made, I think, another one or two stencils using this technique. Does take It took me about an hour to cut this whole stencil which is time consuming but it's nice to have your own custom made stencils um, so I was just flipping for a page this was a failed drawing of a peacock that I did in the car um, so I'm just spraying over that with this and wanted to see how it came out I actually really like the imprint that you get from it so that page right there actually I really like how it comes out well not that page but when you flip it upside down so I hope you enjoyed it bye